welcome back today's video is gonna be a little random it's kind of gonna be like a day in the life video kind of because there's gonna be like a few different things going on <laughs> i just kind of want to take you guys along with me we're gonna go look at uh eg coop it has like a b18 or b20 i'm not sure yet but i'm thinking about getting it for parts i just want to go look at it because it got hit really hard in the front end the motor is like sitting in there sideways so i just want to see what all broke and see if the transmission is still good maybe the motor but yeah we're gonna go check that out and then i kind of want to go ahead and drag that mitsubishi 3000 gt vr4 out of the field see if we can get it started I'd like to just drive it down to my shop if we don't have to drag it and we'll just see what else we get into So it's just gonna be kind of a lot of different things. So hopefully y'all don't mind and y'all are down for the ride <laughs> But I guess let's go ahead and get on with our day Where's she going with that frisbee? <laughs> nice. Woo! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Got that one. You guys, look at this. Does this tire look a little flat to you? <laughs> Looky there, the culprit. A freaking screw. We have a freaking screw in our brand new tire. That's super annoying. We knew about it yesterday after we did all that hooning around in this thing. We went to go to town to get food and our tire pressure light came on and we're like, what the heck? And so we pulled over and of course, there's a screw in our tire. So we aired it back up, we went to town, it lasted until today and now it's flat again. So we got a tire plug kit right here. So we're just gonna plug it ourselves for now because we want to go check out that car on the auction. Excuse you, Tom. Who are you meowing at? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we wanna go look at that on the auction so we're just gonna plug it for now i don't really trust plugs to last too long so we'll probably end up getting a new tire which is really annoying because these are new but yeah so that happened we're about to plug it and then we'll head out to go check out the car here's the screw it's like not even a whole screw it's just like the top part of a freaking screw it's not even the sharp part but i guess it is still sharp we already got the wheel back on the car there's the plug. I know you're not supposed to use those plugs for cars or whatever. I know some people are probably going to say, oh my god, you shouldn't use that or something. But like, it's just temporary, guys. Because we're trying to go somewhere and we don't want to have to wait hours to get a tire. So don't freak out. We're going to get a new tire, but it's just temporary. Transmission is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this back case might still be good though. I'm looking at it and it doesn't seem busted from down here. Looks like it has some max feeding rods, coilovers. Okay, it's still there. It's a B20B, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one.
right guys we're about to try to start the vr4 right now we're not going to be able to get it out right now because this car does not have front suspension and that car's in the way and that's in the way i just want to see if it'll start up because it's been a long time we brought some starting fluid in case the fuel pump's not working or something but yeah let's just see what happens yeah i don't know if i want to sit in there again after yesterday when my butt turned orange haha <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> Engine bay looks great. The interior looks like a tornado. Oh, the fans are on. What is it? Nice. That's fancy. Nothing? Hmm. No? What the heck? Well, that's annoying. Does the pop-ups work? There they go. <laughs> oh my god, chill. Oh, gotta love the pop-ups. Well, we tried. Maybe we should have charged the jump box last night. Well, I guess the jump box just doesn't have enough juice or something. I was really thinking it was at least gonna turn over, but we did use the jump box yesterday to jump something. Why can't I remember? What do we use the jump box for? Oh, the RX-7. Oh yeah, the RX-7. We moved it yesterday and we used a jump box. So maybe it's just dead. Because this jump box kind of sucks. Like, I mean, it doesn't suck. It's just, it's had better days. It's kind of old now and it's common for them to have issues. So I guess we'll just have to charge it up and try again later. Oh well. What do you guys think about the BMW 2002 series? I know these are pretty popular to some people. This one, unfortunately, has been sitting here so long that a tree just like grew up beside it and it's like all up against the door. So that kind of sucks. There's another one back there behind it. I know one of them did run, but they've just been sitting for so long. Who knows now? Oh, here's another ARC 7 that's just like the one that's down at my shop, but this one's automatic. We couldn't get this one running, I forgot. I think it's like fuel pump related. But this one has the better top on it. I wish the manual one had the better top. This guy's about to be here in a minute to cut this quarter panel off of the Integra because he needs one. I don't know if it's a customer car, but he needs a quarter panel. So he's cutting that off. And I don't know if y'all know this, but the EF hatch is at my shop now. And there's something I want to do this thing. It's super simple, but it's something that's been bugging the crap out of me for a while. This. This freaking floppy mirror is going to be the death of me. <laughs> I had a cop behind me the other day, but I couldn't see him because the mirror was like that. And so I was trying to like not make it obvious that I was looking in the side mirrors, trying to see like, I don't know if, if he was going to pull me over. Like how would I be able to see him if my mirror's all messed up? But yeah, it was awkward. But I have this mirror right here that's super stable and not floppy. So I want to put that on real quick. I want to put my steering wheel on. I took this energy quick release out of the EK hatch. I actually sold that car. I don't know if I told y'all. Sorry. But I don't know if the hub is the same. I don't think it is. So I might have to get another hub before I can put that on here. It's mostly just because I'm just trying to get some extra security for the car because I don't want it to get stolen. These cars are so easy to steal. So if I can just carry my freaking steering wheel around with me in the Walmart store, then so be it. But yeah, that's what I want to do next. Probably gonna have to get a hub. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. I wonder, does this mirror cover fit? I don't know if this fits. Oh, whoops, it goes this way. That does not fit. Okay, so the car I took it out of was not an SI. The other car I took it out of was not an SI, so hopefully this works. It looks like the mirror itself will work, just not the cover, which is fine. I just thought I would grab it just in case. Okay, let me pop this thing off. And voila. It's not floppy anymore. It's nice and sturdy. And we can see out the back glass. Woo! So glad I did that. Still need to find this cover, but I know it's common to not be here. So it is what it is. Yay, I won't miss this. <laughs> Whoa, guys, this is quite the sight to see. Like, that looks crazy. There's the back glass 
I gotta figure out what to do with that. But, woo! That's a mess. I gotta go get my shop back to vacuum up this glass. But yeah, that's what a Integra sedan looks like without a quarter panel. Pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, the jump box is fully charged this time, so we're gonna try to start the VR4 one more time for today. And if it doesn't start, then we'll mess with it another day. Because I wanna mess with the prelude, but I just wanted to try it one more time with the jump box fully charged. Ugh, mm, it's not gonna work. Well, we tried, oh well. As y'all can see, it's super cloudy today, so. Oh, here comes my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, turn the key on. No, I didn't bring it down here. It's at my shop. What's he gonna do?
driving off with the 3000 GT. It did have a big oil spot on the ground, so I don't know if you have any oil. I, mean, I think the motor's junk anyway. my grandpa we got the vr4 running so now i'm gonna see if i can get lucky today and get the lewd running as well i'm just gonna try something real quick it's just something that y'all guys suggested and something i've been thinking about i'm going to swap out the igniter coil it has an external little coil next to the distributor so i'm just gonna take the one off my lewd i have one somewhere in my shop but y'all know how messy my shop is so i'm just gonna pop the one off the lewd try it on here to see if that works just because i'm curious so let's just see what happens all right, the new igniter is on from my loot. There's the old one, and now we're just gonna see if maybe it'll start. It's not working. This thing doesn't ever spin fast. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with it? 